Hello everyone, hope you all are doing very well. The Python is very popular and very useful programming language and one of the biggest reason is that anything you would want to do with Python, there is a package available. So you just need to install that package and consume that package the whatever way you would want to use in your own application. However, that extensibility also brings a particular risk. Sometimes these packages are created by the unidentifiable developer which we do, we do not know. So how you can trust? It is very much possible that these packages might have certain code or malicious code which could compromise your application integrity or the system integrity where your application is running. So if you are using one or more definitely you are going to use lots of packages in your python program and you would want to trust that package which is coming out from a particular developer which you do not know this video is very important for you in this video we are going to learn a very popular open source package named pskj it's actually called package but it spells as pskj and this package is actually being funded by the various government organizations. So this package is coming out from really renowned resources. This package is actually designed to run only on Linux. It's not tested for Mac, but in this video, I will show you how you can run this package on Mac by using their GitHub repo code on your MacBook. So using one single tool, you have ability to test packages coming out from three different resources, PyPy, NPM, as well as the Jet, Ruby Gem. So first we will take a very quick demo how this application works and the results from it. And then after we will jump to learn how to install this package on your machine, especially on Mac. And then you are going to test some of the packages such as TensorFlow, Pandas, and other packages available in the Python PyPy repo. So let's get ourselves started. Here is the output of this tool named package and we have used the TensorFlow package as our test package to test with this command and the output of the test audit test are available here as you could see that this tool was able to check that how many commits for this package how many functions are there in total number of python files out of total number of files in this package and the total number of lines 3.5 million lines so 3.5 million lines has been tested and based on that the test results or the audit test results related to this package are available for us to validate. Let me show you how you can run this command very quickly. So here we are going to test for pandas. So we are running this audit test for the very popular Python package pandas and the tool suggests that you should run it either in Docker or Podman because I have, was able to make it work in Mac. So I will say go ahead and run. It's testing in real time the pandas package where it is available at the PyPy repo and then it's evaluating the risks associated with this package and that risk results are going to be generated as a report for us. So right now the package has been downloaded to the local file system and now the code because this is about 5 meg package so the code has been analyzed from this package for the risks so as you could see that the out of 1772 files 1362 are the python files which has 2504 25445 function so about 723,000 lines of code is analyzed. There are risks related with it. And we can actually look into the local file for the risks associated with this package. And here are the reasons where this package is suggesting 
that this package is undesirable because it, it reads local file system it has access to network so it try to download fetch data from over the network but we already know that the pandas package does have such functionality so even these are the reasons for this package to be undesirable for the risk we can assume that this package or, or the panda package it's safe to install however, however you can use the same package tool to validate a particular python package which is coming out from the unidentified developer not only python package you can also test the ruby as well as the npm packages with the same tool so here is the github repo for our package there are a couple of ways you could is install this package so as you could see here that this thing only works for linux it means if we try to install this package on mac you might get error and let's try to check that by ourselves so here is the command prompt at my terminal let me activate the python environment which i have already created using conda so conda activate and the environment is mypy310 and this environment has the python version 3.10.8 so here we are going to install this package i will be using pip rather than pip3 because my pip and pip3 are same command and install package j so pip install pa package j and as you could see that we have met with bunch of errors looking into the log and here as you could see that exception because the only linux version is supported so you can get an idea that if you try to install this package on mac you are going to get an error so the best option is that you actually use this method where you download this git code so first we are going to download or clone it so i do not have any folder here so git clone so i have cloned this package folder let's go to package so we are here and now we need to actually run this bundle install command so in order to get this bundle install you need to make sure that you do have various tool install so first you need to have the ruby so I already have the Ruby version 3.2.0 in this machine. So Ruby is actually using the gem. So I can also show you that I do have the gem also available with the Ruby environment. With that, I also have the bundle. So bundle is also using 2.4. as well as the bundler. So these four commands are needed in order to make this repo work on your Mac. If you would want to check the gem and environment you can see that gem environment is using the same of the gem runtime as the ruby so for example if you say which ruby and you will say which gem and you will say which bundle they all refer to ruby bin ruby bin gem ruby bin ruby ruby bin gem and ruby bin bundle so reason i'm showing you this because you must be able to understand that in order to install package on your mac you have to have these commands running so that you can create the bundle as described here so you see bundle install so once we are inside package folder now we run the bundle install command so as you could see here that i met this error where it say that ruby version is 3.2 but my gem file is specified with 2.5.1 so we can look into so, the, so this command is referred to this gem file so you can take a look this gem file is referring to ruby 2.5.1 so we can go ahead and we can convert that to ruby 3.2.0 one more time ruby version is 3.2.0 so we will take this and then we will update here so vi 
gem file and it's going to be 3.2.0 let's save it so gem file is referring to same ruby version what we have here 3.2.0 at this point if you say bundle install this command is going to work so our bundle install com install command worked here now we need to make sure that all the requirement for this package are installed so i can show you the requirements are these so we need to say pip install minus r requirements.txt so minus r requirements.txt so all these requirements are being installed so after the requirements are installed if if you can go ahead so you see here that bundle install was needed now we can go back and look into the installation of package using pip so you could say pip install package and requirements are all satisfied it means our package is installed So now we can use the package installation. So we have ability to access the main.py. So main.py is actually this main.py. So you could say python main.py and then help. And as we already know that this command actually supports three different repos. It supports npm, it supports rubygem, and it also supports the pypy. And based on this creators, the support for Rust is also coming very soon. So that's where the PyPy request. So we are trying to check the requests package and we are trying to audit it. And it's a lib magic is not available. So pip install lib magic. Okay, so that lib magic installation did not solve here. So now we are using audit and so here is the audit we, if we need to perform the audit so auditing a package so python main.py audit dash t and then the list of packages so our command is that's why i have added here dash t and if i run this thing still it's a fail to find libmagic and in order to use it here it suggests that we need to install the gem Google protobuf so let's install Google protobuf and rubocop so that is installed now let's run the command again so this lib magic what is really looking for it actually looking for mac lib magic not the pip version so let me use the brew install lib magic and as you could see here that it's written that the this particular tool package is not tested on Mac. So I'm trying to make it work on Mac. So that's the reason we are going through with all these slew of problems. So libmagic is installed. Now we can go back, run this command, continue, yes. So finally, we were able to run this tool in Mac and here is the result. So we have tested the request package, but if we try to test the same with the package, the package itself, package, yes, because asking if we would want to keep it testing in outside Docker. Let's try to check this for TensorFlow. So it knows how many versions are there. Version, checking the repo activity. So it has 141 thousand commits that's why it took some time for us to get this thing and then cve none found the dependency risk if you look into your dependency risk none found here none found 21 found now it's analyzing the code just downloaded the package here locally now the code analysis is going on so about 3.5 million lines of code has been tested in almost 1743 python files out of 8567 files if we need to look into the html summary for this 
So looking into the report, you can understand that some types, some of the package which are coming out from the unknown creators or unknown developers, then you can look because the TensorFlow is coming out from Google. So even when the package tool itself said that the TensorFlow, it's version 2.11.00.0 is undesirable, that is okay. However, a certain package which you do not trust the developer, then using this output of your package command will be very beneficial for you to make a decision whether you would want to use that package or not. So I hope you have enjoyed the content available in this video. I do appreciate your time. And if you please subscribe the channel, I would kindly appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Until then, thank you so much.